Hello friend, my name is Sayed. In this video, we will be looking at how to learn SAP faster and how to learn with mind map. So tips and tricks uh, with mind mapping. So how can we use mind mapping software? So I will be showing this on the computer. So let's switch on the other side and I will show you on the computer. Thank you very much. So we are on the other side. So let's take a look at how to learn SAP faster with mind map with tips and tricks to the mind mapping so here is a representation of mind mapping so we can see a picture that customer masters have a, some br sub branches and sub branches have additional branches so that will it, this will show you how to learn this uh, how to do mind mapping so let's get started so customer master is a central idea that is uh, represent in the mind mapping where you have sub ideas that branches are attached to that so this branch for example journal data is uh, uh, one branch sales area data company go data and each branch might have some complex uh, additional branches so by looking at this I can see uh, sales uh, have uh, pricing indicator currency indicator so you can f uh, in sales this have much more than this but I just hyper focused on this important areas that is required and uh, this this mind map is I have used one of these books SAP books of end user. So by looking at this and by showing this to the to the end user, they will understand it faster. Where they can make a difference by just looking at it, sales area, billing area, and then inco term. If they want to learn where is the inco term in the customer master, they can by looking at this and then make a connection back to the customer area customer master that is coming from sales area data to billing tab and into the there is a one field called in term where they can put this in there so that is one of the very effective way to learn this and by looking at this uh, you can understand and uh, remember things faster so let's take a look at the some of the demo of mind mapping so I will start off with the one of the free online tool that you can use is called vice mapping and uh, in voice mapping you can make a map online okay so let's get started i will put this uh, as uh, mind map so i'm just putting it like this and description i can put this in there mind mapping Okay, so by doing this, if I just press enter, it opened this tool window where you can make this uh, mind mapping. So this is a default shape is coming in there by itself as the main idea. And I can change this on the go. So if I double click up here, and if I want to change the font up here, I can do this by doing this. So mind map. So in this I can take a look at this is a mind map if I want to change the color and shape of it I can do this by going to the topic shape and select down and if I can want to make it as a box a sharp edges if I want to make it a soft edges if I want to make it a small rectangular type uh, small circular type uh, corners I can do that so that is the main topic I have to select this first to select the shape I want to select in so this is like a, a back to the normal if i want to change color i can select the topic color i can make this to the blue and uh, if i want to add uh, additional sub processes i can do this as well so let's just quickly take a look at the name is coming up here on top and uh, so we can also save we can print this and uh, we can see our name my name is showing up here and you can also click on tutorial video you can see more detail up here about that and so these are the options available I can make it a zoom if I want to make it a bigger I can click on on this pan to uh, make this um, move and uh, I can also change the topic border color so if I want to make it a green so now topic border color is green actually I want to change it back to the yellow I think it was yellow before no so let's change it to blue so we can leave it like this so this is a 
these are the few options we can see and let me click on to the main topic I can add a icon into this so these are the icons are available I can add just for example this is I icon is added and uh, I can add a note I can add a link uh, I can put a relationship so relationship I will show in between uh, sub processes sub branches to main idea to branch and and so on and so forth and font type uh, text size uh, text size this is bold uh, so these are the all different options just simple options you can also share this you can publish to the website and you can export this so there are multiple different options you can export into you can do free mind map so we can we can see we can save it into the, their mind map version which is their own version I can save it into the beta version which is mindjet 8.x uh, wise mapping uh, so I guess this is different than wise mapping uh, you can do SVG PNG JPEG plain text Microsoft Excel and open office right so you can all of these op options are available for file to be saved so I'm just going to cancel this right now and I will try to add few of the topics subtopics so if I click on this main map and I can select add topic and I can just keep clicking on this that how many uh, topics I want to add I can drag and drop to one side to another side and uh, let's see how can I change the text color so if I just select this up here and I want to text color to be white also for this one up here and if I want to change uh, this one as different color yellow for example so that is uh, not very visible so let's take a look at different option I can see so let's make it a green neon green so so as we can see I can make these changes to the subtopics and if I want to add subtopic to the subtopic I will select this up here and click add topic so that is not adding this in there so let me just drag and drop so I can do drag and drop as well so that is making this topic into the subtopic and I can change the text color and uh, now I, I have selected subtopic so it's meaning that it will bring another branch if I click up here so one two so I can make subtopics and branches you can, as you can see I'm adding the subtopics it's also changing the subtop and the main topics uh, into the multiple topics so so main idea of learning this mind map you put your main mind map idea your um, and then you put uh, your subtopics and the branches into this so you can make this mind map and after that you can export this into your file and uh, it, it, it will be saved on to your online uh, account where you can see if I could click on save and if I go to my wise mapping so I just saved uh, this uh, three minutes ago it's showing mind map if I click up here and it's opened this back up so that's how you do with mind map on this on to this uh, wise mapping.com let's jump on to the another uh, free software uh, so this is uh, uh, another mind mapping tool you can use so this is your central idea and uh, let's have some tips this is where you start your main idea okay got it and add so I can add an idea into this and if I want to click add again so this is putting sub ideas into this if I click up here and put an add up here and also just click up here and add so this is putting some branches out there for different topics this is very visually uh, interesting to see I can make this okay this is control Z I believe no so I can do this change I can I move this okay I can add some branches to this by doing this so it allowing me to add branches so that's how it is and and I can also do copy so if I want to copy and paste so this is putting some copy paste ideas I can do that and let's see navigation appear on the right hand side it make it zoom in and zoom out 
and if I put on central idea so that is our mind mapping tool we call mind maps dot app and uh, let's see if I want to save so I can put on Dropbox uh, local storage and save to a file I can do all of this and also export image I can put this as an image file as well so that is another free tool you can use and I believe I'll put this link in the description below you can take a look at it so let's take a look at the mind mapping tool which is called uh, uh, for example uh, it's called I mind map so I'll bring this up here to the screen so as you can see I have made this uh, into the mind map already so this is our central idea you can put this uh, picture in there as well and I put this uh, as uh, what is mind map uh, mind map is a, is a pictorial representation of complex topic uh, how to use mind map free software I can put this these two softwares the online websites and uh, and I'm showing this up here so let me just click up here and change this okay so that I can change this onto the go and uh, I just change that something in there spelling thing in there it show the spelling um, I can also change the design up here so for example if I go to the design so these are the options that are available I can select from for example if I select a pastel organic it will change the look and feel of this as a pastel organic if I do creative so as you can see it is changing this if I select something a little bit uh, uh, winter linear so let's select this so as you can see there's some some pictures and uh, things are changing and what is the benefit of this I can drag and change this direction of it uh, if I select this up here and if I want to add idea a sub branch if I click up here it's add this up here I can drag bring it to the next side of it so that is the uh, easiness of this i mind map and uh, as compared to the free ones i can save this export as uh, image 3d image document presentation all of these are options are available with this and uh, and also i mind map i have this this is so i have this software is uh, I mind map 10.1.1 so this is uh, older version now I, I believe they are not offering any desktop they're offering online I, I they might have online option as well so let me just try just creating one just to show you I'm going to save this up here and if I do new I can capture as uh, as free ideas brainstorm mind map and time uh, time map so all of these are option available with this mind mapping software if I just click on mind map so this is giving me a mind map a different central idea I can select from so for example if I want to select this one up here double click and say so this is uh, central ideas coming in there if I s click up here and add the branch and instead of just I if I select and just click a branch without a box so that is another option you can do with the with the box and without a box and I can uh, okay it just put this in there because I click on this icon if I double click up here I can put this as uh, mind mind map so that is uh, if I want to change this to just click and enter so now this is central idea if I want to add a text into this if I just simply double click I can select the font I can select the size of it and bold and all of these are options are available so I can put topic one so now we can see that we can add uh, topics subtopics I can uh, if I just do topic so I can do it with just regular branch without a box in end of it and I can do with the box with end of it so if I do this this is do that and if I select on this icon it's bring a branch without a box in end of it I can double click on the branch and also add text into this so 
so that just put a text in the end of the branch so that is uh, option up here and let's say if i have changed some topic if i want to make it some organized so i can select up here or just do clean up up here this clean up will bring all of this icons together so it make it minimize i can also do free pan up here and uh, let's take a look at what other options are out there i can add notes i can attach i can also insert a um, picture in there that is also an option and uh, i can put a central idea i can change central idea a flow chart so i can add icons from a flow chart uh, it also give me option of these are available for example if i want to do this up here So I can put this uh, process box up here and that will give uh, how I am doing this uh, as compared to process flow diagram into mind mapping. So that is a good option. I can select picture. I can select uh, notes. These are the options for flow chart. And so let's take a look at a few more options in there. Icon library. So this software also provides some icon library. I can put some arrows. Uh, calendar so let's use one for example I'm going to use this up here select this and so this arrow is coming up here I can add this drag and drop so I can do this up here I can do this from this side so we can put some directional uh, arrows into this and uh, this is calendar i can add calendar icon so i can put this calendar like this so there are, are multiple different options available into this communications document finance so these are the all free icons you you can use with this i mind map software I believe they have a newer version out there which is uh, which have a, like more functions but that is sufficient enough to do any of this function that you would like to do so with this uh, topic uh, mind map uh, i will conclude this video uh, hopefully this video help you and if you have any questions comments please like subscribe and leave a question so let us know how do you like this video thank you very much